All right, guys. So, I'm back. It is time. Continue on. Let's jump on our horse. Go for a ride. Get a few things done. Firstly, let's go check out our crab pots. See how those are doing. Now let's head to town. Let's trade in this ticket with the mayor. And then, uh... Then I think we're gonna do other stuff. Let's see here. That's it? I do have bait, but it's a good bait. And I kind of don't want to bait the... Yeah, screw it. I'll do it anyway. Put the good bait in there. Maybe I'll get better stuff now. I don't know. Let's go to town. Let's go to the mayor's house. Oh, this is not how you do it. You gotta go around. <clears throat> this way. I know. The new camera actually makes the red fedora red. This, co this camera is so good when it comes to representation of color. It's like so different from the last one. The last one was not accurate at all. Okay, here we go. What is that? A peach sapling. Oh, cool. But that is only available during a certain season, correct? Only grows summer. It's a summer tree. So we don't have to buy it now. We'll have a peach sapling for the next year. That's cool. <clears throat> That's very cool. There's a lot of trash in the water. Why don't we fish some of it out? I'm thinking of offering high-quality vegetables at a slight premium. Can I can I get 25 gold star vegetables? I don't want either of those. They suck. Okay. What I want to do is go far north, the carpenter, and find out what exactly I need to get the barn. And then I want to work on getting that barn. So we'll spend the rest of the day working toward that. Hello. Right after I forage. Do Cat and I like Costco pepperoni pizza? We've only eaten it once, and it was good. The one time that we ate it at Costco, which was a month or two ago, we enjoyed it a lot. Thought it was delicious. Okay, so. All right, 6,000 gold, 350 wood, 150 stone. I currently have 247. If I could go cut some wood down fast, I may actually be able to do this now. See how much I can get really quick. We get enough quickly. Yes, Derek says it takes 28 days to grow uh, each tree. Yeah, and you can only grow each one per season. And that one's summer only, so I'm not going to bother with that. But at least I have it now, so I don't have to buy it later. That's, that's great that I got that good start. Mark says that he beat Metal Slug X on Steam Deck. Very good SK platformer. Mars People is annoying in FEC Chaos. Yeah, he's broken. Mar Mars People is definitely broken. It's meant to be a, a, a boss secret gimmick character. It's not meant to be a fair character. <clears throat> I have no ideas to sleep on, apparently. That's cool. They have enough. Yes, I do go back and let's get the barn. No, what happened? I walked out by accident. <laughs> the barn. Okay, where would I like to build my barn, right? Uh, oh, wait. Wait, what? Oh, I was gonna say, can it not move? It moves. You just gotta move it around. Okay. You build it right out front. Well, oh, right here. Perfect. Yeah, look. Wow, it actually fits perfectly right there. Look at that, man. Dead center. Perfect. Barn is in progress. All right. Hellion says, hopefully you have enough free space. Oh, I, I did. I had just enough, as you saw. 
The Balkan Brawler. Ask what, ask what's your favorite bread? Mine is a baguette, long and, and great when toasted. Um, I prefer a bread like like it's like crunchy on the outside but chewy on the inside. And there's a lot of different breads that are like that. Um, a baguette is definitely one of them. But as I've gotten older, I also have grown an appreciation for sourdough, which tastes unique compared to other breads. I like the extra flavor. What's up, Jade? Good evening. How are you, man? <clears throat> yes, I, I got many wins with Street Fighter today with Blanca. I got went on many win streaks, actually, in casual play. I had upwards of like eight plus wins in a row at one point. I was doing really well. Even against the master players, I was actually getting back on par. So it was good. <clears throat> no, Ralph and Clark are not in Metal Slug. That is incorrect, Derek. Okay. So we're good there. And then if I want to upgrade my coop... Oh, I can't. They won't even let me. You can only do one thing at a time because I want to see what it costs, but they won't let me see that. All right. So that was good. That was productive. I mean, I'm not sure what else we would, might want to do besides harvest more stone and wood because that means we can also build... The upgraded coop next and that means you can get the ducks you need duck eggs also for the community center stuff delicious blackberry you are welcome Jaden. no problem whatsoever here's trying to play it cool he's seething about losing to you at the stardew valley fair <laughs> i beat him in the contest now he's very upset with me well, too bad that's life can you pick those three yams above your beehive? You keep walking over them. Oh, maybe I can and I miss them. You're right. Maybe I missed them. Well, let's go back. <clears throat> let's take a look. I carry warriors was good, but man, it was very difficult. Yams. Oh, I had no idea. I didn't know that's what they look like when they're ready to be harvested. Oh, I just but I just got a mushroom? Where did that come from? Yeah, there's stuff here I could harvest. I had no idea. Okay. So now that that's done, right? We basically have extra time. And it's like, what do I want to do with that extra time? Didn't you guys say there's something I want to give that statue that wants sweet foods out in the hidden cave area in the forest but someone told me what it was and someone else was like no that's not it that's baloney if you do that it won't count or something so i'm not sure i'm gonna go sell this stuff <coughs> excuse me oh uh, let's see here no i don't work on cars i'm not a car guy one button dash says there's a, uh, I'm playing another game similar to Stardew Valley called Graveyard Keeper, but with, it's this with a twist. You're managing making a graveyard. It's surprisingly addicting and fun. There you go. Oh, I don't know if you can play this in perpetuity. People are saying there are, there is like an end. Like there legit is an end to the game, but I don't know what the end is. So. <clears throat> I definitely want to store the moss and this peach sapling so I don't forget. go look at all these veggies i have stored maybe i should just sell them right like i think the only ones that i need to store is the pumpkin i think i have 10 wheat now four or five six yeah i have enough wheat to trade into the community center i need i need golden pumpkins but i don't have enough right Yeah, see, this is stuff I can't do yet. I need five pumpkin. Yeah, five. I don't have enough. I need five cold corn. I think I only have three. And I only have two of the gold pumpkins, so I can't do these yet. But everything else I could sell. So I will. I'm going to sell it all. I'm going to make tons of money. Okay. Let's sell this stuff. Fishing soon, says Jade. Uh, it may be. We gotta figure out what the, the best time to do it. We did the rainstorm last time, but there hasn't been one today. 
Okay. That should be some good money, right? All right, outside of that... Oh, have a good night, Jack Cracker Jack. See you later. Uh, outside of that, I'm not sure what I should do besides cutting down some trees. Try to get some more wood resources. Because I'm going to need more wood when I want to build the upgraded coop. Excuse me. Thank you, uh, Derek. Congrats on getting first in the event. It wasn't that big of a deal. What's Dudley doing over here? Hanging out in the trees. Okay. A bunch of wood. There's tons of complexities. It's very well made, Mark. There's just so much to do in it. You're always working towards another goal. You only think you're done. Nah, there's something else big going on that you could be doing, and it's pretty neat in that regard. Fun. And it's very chill. I can talk with you guys. We can hang out while I play it. the cat more than once. Jades is on Friday. Can we see the return of bison in blue and red? Maybe. Maybe we will. Maybe we'll bring back bison because you know it's been two weeks now and I feel like if I don't start playing with bison again, I'm going to get rusty and everyone's going to pass me by. So maybe that's a good idea. Maybe that's what we should do on Friday. I think it's a good suggestion. I had fun playing with Blanca today, but I think bison's a better character than Blanca and I'm going to get further with bison anyway. Derek says this game is better than Animal Crossing. Well, that's a subjective statement. I think some people would like Animal Crossing better. But I do love this. I I'm really loving this game for the, you know, now almost 30 hours I think we've been playing it. Actually, it's a good question. How many hours do we have in this right now? Let's see. 26. Now 27. So this would be hour 28 right now. Hour 28 of the game. Pretty crazy. And Generation Z says, this is basically Minecraft on steroids with active civilians. Yeah, pretty much. It's 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 everything from these kind of social simulators, survival simulators, farming simulators. You know, it's everything. It has a little bit of every piece combined. Kind of neat. Oh. Excuse me. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Mark says he, he plays as classic Chun-Li, and he struggles if he doesn't play for two to three days, and here I am juggling six different characters. <laughs> yeah, think about that. <clears throat> two weeks ago, on Friday, I had my best night ever with M. Bison. I constantly was winning, way more wins than losses, went from like 1,500 uh, rank points to over six. It was 1,612 or something like that. That's a ton of points to earn in one night. So by far my most successful night ever. Then I proceeded to not play with M. Bison for two weeks. Didn't even touch him, right? That's what I mean. When I talk about when other people are playing this game, they're not playing it like me. The people who play this game, Street Fighter 6 that is, not this one, Street Fighter 6. People who play Street Fighter 6 are hyper-focused on winning. They're constantly playing. They're, they're, go they're playing with offline comp. They're going to tournaments. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're doing so much. And these are things that I'm not doing because I'm a variety creator. People don't want to see me just playing Street Fighter all day. It would get bored. I agree with you. I would get burnt out if I just play Street Fighter every day. Right? But that means then that I'm going to be behind the curve. I just am. Right? There's nothing I could really do about that. <clears throat> Where's the moss? There it is. A geode? Wow, we actually have a geode. We'll put that away. Alright. It's only 9pm, but I'm out of energy, so I think I'm just going to hit the sack. 
We did just sell a tremendous amount of stuff. We'll probably make a ton of money. Tomorrow we're just in clouds, right? Yep, just clouds. Okay, like our new green rug on the floor there. It's pretty nice. Okay. Look at this. Level 7 foraging. I now have tree fertilizer. Can you apply that after you planted the tree, though? Because I already did apply uh, plant the trees. So I don't know if that's going to work or not. I guess we should look it up. Wild seeds and a, a mountain totem available. <clears throat> look at that. Another 5k made in one day. Beautiful. <clears throat> Very nice. I agree. The rug is fit for a king. Indeed. Again, the cherry tree couldn't grow. Why? There's nothing out there. Just cloudy again. No rain. Birds are neutral. What was it? It was a tree fertilizer. Sprinkle on a wild tree to ensure rapid growth even in winter. Doesn't work on a fruit tree. I need five fiber. I need two of these. So I need to go grab fiber. Yeah, I need to grab fiber and, and do use this. Here's five fiber right here. Here you go. Here we go. I'm gonna go use this right now. <laughs> uh, it doesn't work. Let me guess, because these are fruit trees, right? It says it doesn't work on a fruit tree, so that's probably what that is. They're fruit trees. That sucked. <clears throat> Here, Phil, how are things going? You must really be making a fortune on the farm. Don't forget your dear old mother when you're a millionaire. Love, Mom. Enjoy this cake. Wow, let's go put this in the fridge. Pink cake. Wow. It's way better than the chocolate cake. Yeah, look. It's crazy good. Haha, <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, we want to now figure out what we need for the coop. I might have enough for the coop. The upgraded coop, that is. <laughs> but let's do our usual daily stuff. Let's do our watering. Let's do our interaction with our chickens. And then we'll head off and check that out. Okay. Missed. He missed. It's Cranberry Fields Forever. All right, I don't think that's the song. Looks like I had missed a grape. I did. I had missed harvesting a grape earlier. <clears throat> Cranberry Fields Forever. La, 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 la. Your chickens. Then I will talk with you guys for a bit because people are talking and I want to interact with you. Chickens are incredibly happy. I don't blame them. go okay so let's see what's going on here there's my favorite video from the react show was the fist bump handshake one the one from broski the street fighter pro hockey player where basically he he's equating the inability of two pro players to just do a handshake after a match instead one goes for a fist one goes for a handshake and then they go like this which is super awkward or then they'll like do a switch at this last second and they do this like wait or sometimes they would go like this and then go like this and like this and like this. And then sometimes they would hug. It was really bizarre. It was fun, though. It's a good, a good video. 
<clears throat> Add the gamer. No, I do not miss doing my old podcast with live callers. I literally had something like four callers ever. I'm not kidding. It doesn't make any sense that anyone thinks it's some big deal because it's not. Overpower Moon says, try removing gravel paths and put a fence around there instead with one space free around each tree. I can't do that. There's not enough space from where I put them, as you can see. It's not possible. So, it is what it is, I guess. I don't even know how to remove it. I can't. Look, the hoe doesn't work. The only thing I can do is put a fence directly around it. Like, directly around each one. There's not enough space to do that. <laughs> what you're saying is to have a space around it. I don't have... There's no room for a space around it. Not what you were suggesting, I don't think. But this is all I can do with the space that I have. <clears throat> See? I can't. There's no space to do it. There's no way that I, I would have to unplant one, which is going to kill it. See? I would have to unplant a tree. I don't even know which tree is which either. This one, okay, if I do this. So I can do it to this one. I can't even, oh my gosh. Okay. Problem is, I don't know how you would stop. How would you stop weeds from growing in there? I don't know. I don't know how that would work. I don't know how weeds grow in this, though. Okay. Okay. Now, what was I doing? I was going to sell stuff. this gravel. <laughs> I probably need 
more stone, I would guess, in order to make the upgraded coop. That's my guess, that I'm going to need way more stone to do it. I didn't even know that. I have to upgrade the pickaxe again if I want to break that boulder. Okay. What sucks is I can't upgrade the coop now even if I wanted to. I'm being told the weed should not spread naturally, so because I built a fence around it should work. Yeah, and I guess if a weed does grow, I could always knock down the fence weed and then just rebuild it, right? It wouldn't be a big deal. <clears throat> so I, I legit don't know what to do right now. I guess we go check my, my crab traps, see how they're doing. Okay. Um. Oh, so I received two different contributions. Someone did a super chat says, how do I make super chats anonymous? You can't. There is no way to anonymously super chat on YouTube. I believe there was a way to do anonymous bits on Twitch. You cannot anon anonymously super chat on YouTube. What you can do is you can tip me. If you type exclamation point tip into the stream chat, a link will pop up. Click on that link, takes you to my tips page, and just don't put a message in, just send a tip. It's that's anonymous. I won't see your name, I won't see a message, nothing, and I'll just shout it out as an anonymous tip. Okay. <clears throat> and then I received a five dollar tip. Someone says, let's see if this is, and then it ended. So let's see if this is, if that's what you wanted to say. Yes, it worked. Thanks for the $5 tip. <laughs> it did go through. <clears throat> if you wanted to be anonymous, uh, it worked because I don't know who that was because there was no name attached to it. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you for the tip. All right. All right. Kate says he went back and watched my MK9 and Soul Calibur 5 footage. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. The MK9 story mode remains one of the best story modes ever done in any fighting game for sure. What a great story you had, man. The whole tournament to save Earth, right? Redone. It was so cool the way they did that and retold the story. Now Kung Lao was the hero instead of Liu Kang. <clears throat> Aha. A periwinkle? Don't I need that? No. It's a fish. Huh. I guess I could sell it. All right, what else do I want to do? I can also do a second silo if I want us to keep stockpiling for winter after she's done building the barn. But the thing is, I also want to upgrade my coop. My coop is only level one. I want to get level two so that way, uh, that way I can do the um, the duck egg, which I need for a community center mission. <clears throat> so either or, I guess, would work, right? This is what about fishing? Um, well, how about let's head over to this secret forest area. I wonder what you can get here fishing. I don't think we tried it yet, did we? I don't think we tried fishing over here yet. get here oh yeah Derek says he's been watching my old PS home videos now do you, do you know or did you find out how many times I did it like how many times I went back to PS home because personally I don't remember it all and I think we're going to start doing retro reacts to that over on DSP throwback very soon like not this week but the week after we might find the first one Cart. 
Excuse me. Yes, I've been fishing in real life several times with my father. We used to go to Lake Lulanoa in Connecticut. And we used to fish against these little fish called sunnies. And they were very, very nice. They were reflective in the sun. They showed almost like a sheen of gold. They're a very nice fish. We would always release, catch and release. Okay. You guys can bear with me. I need to blow my nose. My cold is getting better, but it still persists. Just wait one second while I do this, and then we will resume. Oh, I have no idea what thrash metal is, so I can't answer that question. Can't say if you like something you never heard, you don't know what it is. <clears throat> oh, no. Ugh. The cold is getting better, it's just very annoying. Thing forever. <clears throat> okay. Sorry about that delay. Let's continue. All right. 10 p.m. Still got a good amount of time. Fish. Another treasure. Perfect. A wood skip. And I need that one. For the community center. I totally need that fish for the community center. So that was a great find. Very nice. <laughs> Glasses were not a good find for the community center at all. That was absolutely terrible. More. Uh, I received a $3 tip. <laughs> you consider doing a Silent Hill 2 remake playthrough when it comes out in two months? I am absolutely doing a Silent Hill 2 playthrough when it comes out. I don't know if it's actually coming out in two months or not. Whenever it comes out, I am playing it for 100% sure. I think it will be a great playthrough. So thank you for that question and support and tip. I just received a $33 tip from an anonymous tipper. Thank you again, whoever that was. You guys are awesome to me. This week, guys, listen. I'll just say this. So this week I got sick, right? And it really sucks when you get sick, especially when it's unplanned. I had to cut off my marathon early. And it really sucked because I had plans to do certain things. I didn't get around to doing a bunch of them because I was sick. And then I had to take a day off. And I was like, man, it kind of sucks because I had a really great marathon, right? <clears throat> the problem was, now... I had to miss out on a stream right after a day of great streaming. And it's like, so it negates the good day, right? It just makes it like as if, because I have to skip a day now. But now you guys have been consistently supportive all week long. It didn't matter what game I was playing. You guys have come out and supported so much. And I really, really appreciate that. So thank you guys. Now, here's the thing. We've only got about maybe 20, 25 minutes left on the stream. So we have time for a vest, but really not time for a poll. So... I think I'm just going to go grab a vest and toss it on. And I'm sorry that there really isn't time to pull for one tonight. I'd rather just get one on for you guys than waste time. What? No, the original vest that started it all. The beige vest. The one that had the crazy streak, right? There it is. I haven't worn this one in ages. I can't even tell you the last time I wore this beige vest. I don't even remember. But you can see with this new camera, it actually stands out. Even on this shirt I'm wearing, it's a different shade of like beige and it actually stands out. This webcam is amazing. I love this new webcam. 
<clears throat> Mr. Lolinator just did a ten dollar super chat and says based Phil may his schizo detractors end up like Review Tech USA. <laughs> well, listen, I wouldn't wish that upon anyone. As I said, I want everyone to be happy out there. But it is true that I have some pretty insane, crazy people following me. But then again, let's be very honest about this, okay? <clears throat> let's be very honest about this. The reason that I have so many crazy, stalkerish, insane haters is because it's the in thing to do, bro. People have entire channels like that, right? Once it doesn't become the cool thing to do anymore because enough people speak up against it, like you, it will end. But enough people have to. You know, Casino is now doing it. Their followers are doing it. My people, my followers have been doing it forever. Now we need some more. More people need to step up and be like, this has gone on long enough. You guys are nuts. Stop with the bullshit. Grow the fuck up. Leave him alone. Leave his family alone. And it will, it will go away. But the problem is the entire movement has been hate Phil, hate Phil, hate Phil, hurt Phil, hate Phil. Why? Why are you doing this? Besides the viral movement because you're a cult. All right? Once people call it out for what it is and say, you're out of your fucking minds, grow up, it will end. But no one's done that up to now, okay? <clears throat> All right. Thank you, Lolinator. I appreciate that. All right, let's continue. More fishing. What time is it? It is 6.50 p.m., so we still have plenty of time. <clears throat> where are those slimes going? They ran away. What happened? Why are there no fish now? Why am I getting all junk? Alright, so Derek says he looked up the PS Home videos. And he has stats for us, but I need to... I need to catch this fish first. <clears throat> so, 44 PS Home videos total. The first time was December 20th, 2008. So the original PS Home videos from my earliest content ever. The second time, September 2009... The third time, January 2012. The fourth time, March 2013. So that would have been just around the time I was doing direct capture. And then the final time when it was closing, March 31st, 2015. So man, those videos are going to span from the original Dark Side Phil channel all the way over <clears throat> to the DSP Gaming channel. That spans from old camera to more modern camera, to direct capture, to live streaming. I mean, that's a crazy span of content there. Checking out PS Home from time to time. That will be pretty fun, I think. <coughs> Excuse me. So probably in a couple weeks, we'll start off with the very first time from 2008. We'll see how that panned out and go from there. <laughs> Iron Man the Power made that playlist, Derek. Alright, I'll have to look into that. I'll probably be able to find it. You typically when you search for when you search for that, Derek, what was it? Was it DSP gaming PS home? Was it Dark Side Phil PS home? Like what terminology did you use to find that? I'm just curious because I have to find it too. Copper ore and a geode. Crap. Uh -huh. It's crappy. It's crappy, but we're going to have some stuff to sell. And we got to keep that night kip for the community center. Someone had said the night kip can only be caught in this lake. So we got lucky that I that caught it now. We got that community center thing done now, which is excellent. <coughs> Vietnamese comrades said the best part of waking up is Stardew in your stream. Not exactly sure that that is the actual lyric, but... Then again, it's probably better than the real lyric, because the real lyric is the best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. And that's Folgers Crystal's Instant Coffee, and it's terrible. I've had it. It's incredibly bitter. It tastes crappy. It's not very good coffee. You search for Dark Side Phil PS Home. Okay, that's what I will look for then. Thank you. Jade, you taking off soon? All right, Jade. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for coming by and letting us know that you're better now, and we look forward to seeing you on streams moving forward. Oh, let's see here. Mr. Lolinator did another super chat and says, what are your thoughts on doing VR games? Been there, done that. When PSVR came out, 
on PlayStation 4 many, many years ago. I played it at launch, okay? And I played it for a good amount of time. I played it for maybe a good two, three months. I think it came out like, like October, November that year. And I played maybe like 10 games on it. And I pretty much did full playthroughs of each one of them too. Uh, some of them were good. Some of them not so much. Some of them were full experiences. Some of them were very short, like two, three hours. Some were fine. And some gave me bad motion sickness. So basically, I got a completely different... It's another wood skip, by the way. I got a completely different experience depending on what game I was playing and the like. But the common factor for me was that it made me sweat. Like, it made me really uncomfortable wearing the headset. It was made me sweaty and kind of really, like, not... It just didn't feel good like normal gaming. It always felt kind of a little awkward to me. And I was like, is it really worth it? Are these games any better than other games that I'm playing that, you know, for this VR experience? In some cases, I would say at first it was a nice gimmick and it kind of, like, it felt special. But after a while that special feeling kind of wore out and it just didn't feel like it was that big of a deal anymore. Um, the last thing I ever did in VR was Resident Evil 7. I played through the game normally and then I, I put on the VR headset and was going to do a second run. And I got to the boss, the creepy woman who's like a spider boss or whatever, and I beat her in VR and I was like, you know, it's not bad, but it just doesn't really add enough for me to care anymore, you know? And since then, I literally never did a single thing in VR I can tell you this, when I was doing it, I definitely had some issues. By the way, hold on. Let me just check this quick. Before I continue with my story, my VR story. Um. Okay, it could be either one. I'll give them the weaker one, then I'll sell the better one. Okay. Um, what was I going to say? Let me not lose my track of thought. The things that sucked about VR, number one, using it in this room, this office that I do my work in, it literally would not track properly half the time. So I'd be one game would be perfect. It's just sitting here and you could do it like this, fine. And then there'd be another game where you need like this giant area all around you to be open. And who has that room? Who has a ginormous room to play VR games in? So half the games just weren't really, they didn't play well, right? And nothing felt to me, it was like a joke gimmick experience. And once I got through the gimmicks, it wore off. I didn't really care anymore. <laughs> And let's be honest, since then, number one, how many killer app VR games have there been? Maybe you could argue Half-Life Alex is the one that everyone brings up. It's like a super good VR game. But outside of that, there isn't even consensus on like, what's another good one? Some people will say one thing. Some people will say another. No one can even agree, right? That's number one. Number two, since PSVR came out, the original, I changed my whole formula around to become... An interactive streamer and what i mean by that is i'm doing literally what i'm doing right now i'm talking with you 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 did a contribution i read it out i respond we have a fun conversation back and forth right if i have a vr headset on i literally won't have the ability to do that i'll have to i'll be playing vr i'll be immersed in vr i can't see a talk i can't shout out contributions i can't do any of that therefore it takes away the whole nature of the kind of content that i'm doing right it would kind of kill it for me now, some people have said, oh, there's workarounds. If you get the right VR, you can get the chat on the screens like, so you kill the VR aspect. The whole idea is supposed to be virtual reality. It's not virtual reality if I have a chat running and I'm doing shout outs. You know what I mean? So <clears throat> I can definitely see that working for a certain group of content creators. But for me, I'm just not like that anymore. I changed my formula seven years ago to be someone different, to be this interactive streamer. That's my forte now. That's what I excel in. So I don't think that I want to now go back and change the content again just for the sake of doing some VR stuff. And also, let's be honest, there's a big, expensive, entry-level deal to get into VR. And, you know, I don't want to get a PSVR 2. If I get something for my PC, I got to upgrade my PC. It's like, well, it's just not worth it. So I, I'm pretty much done with VR at this point. Unless that changes. If they ever were to make a killer app VR game, imagine if they made a VR game so good that everyone nominated it for Game of the Year. Maybe it didn't win Game of the Year, but everyone was like, that's Game of the Year contender. It's never happened before. If that happened, maybe I would be urged to play VR again. But from what I'm going to understand, 80 to 90% of the games in VR are gimmick experiences. They're meant to be experienced for a little bit, and then they kind of get tired or, or, you know, not that interesting anymore. You know, I remember, I still remember the first time putting it on and playing a game like the uh, Until Dawn game that was on rails, but horror monsters coming after you and stuff, and it was, like, scary. 
I remember going underwater in the cage. The shark comes at you. That was all neat for like a couple days. And then it just wears right off. Just like everything else. It's just a gimmick, you know? Okay. I received a $4 tip. What about Metal Gear Solid 3 Remake? I'm definitely going to play that too. That is one absolutely everyone wants to see me play. Simply because of my horrendous history with the Metal Gear Solid franchise. Where... My first experience with Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3 was me playing the HD collection on PS3, but I did so poorly at it that everyone just makes fun of me for those playthroughs and people want to see me go back to them, so I will. <clears throat> okay, now hold on. Let me make sure. Carp, no. I can sell carp. Everything else I could sell. Yeah. Okay. Carp. Sell that, sell that, sell that, sell that. And sell that. This community center. Okay. Cool. All right, we're done. <clears throat> That's right. Red and blue bison on Friday, Jade. Sounds like a plan. I think I will. I think it sounds like it's time to return to bison. I've been away from him for a while. Perhaps time to get back into the swing of things, right? All right, Derek, have a good night. Thanks so much. Everyone, we're about to wrap it up. Just so everybody knows, the way this game works, once you go to sleep, it auto-saves, and we're not going to play another full day. What we just did is essentially what we did for tonight. Maybe we'll do a tiny more bit, you know, interaction, like Q&A in the chat, but we're not going to play another day here. <clears throat> you go to Quest 2 for like 130 bucks now, so it's cheaper to get into it, except you need a PC for it. See, that's what I mean, like, if no matter what, no matter what, it seems like it's expensive, right? If you're going to get the Quest, that's great, but then you need a PC that can handle it. I don't. My PC's 10 years old, right? So, oh, not the Quest 2. With the Quest 2, it's all built into the unit. Is that true? You don't need a PC at all for it? That's insane. Whoa. I wonder how good they are. Oh, wait a minute. They're not good. We totally just watched a video recently on my React show, and it showed the Steam VR version of Riven Remake, and it showed the Quest 2 version, and it looked terrible. The Quest version was so downscaled, it looked like shit. It looked like an N64 game. So that's why it's standalone. That makes sense. <laughs> no wonder. <laughs> okay. By the way, this will be cool. Next time we play, I'm going to have my first harvest of honey. And maybe we'll get to see if we can do something with the honey. Maybe make a product out of it or sell it or something. There you go. <laughs> oh, my nose. What do you mean? Vietnamese Comrade says, A shame Cyberpower PC doesn't have a good longevity. If you mean my PC now? Dude, it's been 10 years. It's been 10 years. How could you possibly say my PC have not had longevity and stability? This is my most stable ever. PC in history in my entire life I've never owned a PC for 10 straight years that work and I've used it day in day out for work six days a week for work for 10 years I mean do the math are you serious dude okay do the math ready <laughs> all right <clears throat> Where, where's my calculator give or take this this will be off by a few a few numbers but okay 10 years times 52 weeks in a year times six days a week okay 3,120 days i have used this pc consistently with no major issues i've been able to work over 3,000 streams with this pc with no issues <laughs> how on earth could you possibly say it didn't have longevity that's insanity what you're saying that's wild. No, this is by far the best PC I've ever had in my life. Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> That's true. Overpower Boone says, you notice the cherry tree didn't have the error pop up this time. So maybe we solved the problem. Excellent. No, I don't know what brand Cats is at all. Uh, when, I, when? And here's the thing. I should do an update on this. So... We're in kind of a conundrum here. And here's the conundrum. All right. 
I want to do my upgrade. I want to do my, my, my PC migration. All right. But the problem now is everything is happening at once. What do I mean by that? Well, I was sick. Set me back a couple days. So already I'm kind of behind the eight ball here. I'm trying to play catch up. Um, I have to do private Patreon react videos coming up. All right. That's going to take away a stream within the next one to two weeks. It's either going to be next week or the week after. I have to take a whole night off, if not longer, to do all those videos. All right. The Review Tech USA documentary is going to drop. Not only am I going to review that or react to it, now I have guys over on another streaming site at Kino Casino. They want to react to it with me. So now we're trying to figure out when this doc is going to drop. It's supposed to drop in early August, but that does that mean the first week, the second week, right? And then I got to try to figure out the logistics of trying to get that to happen. All right. And I don't know how, you know, that's going to be difficult. But I want to do it. Sounds like something different and interesting to do it that way, right? Then there's my own documentary that's dropping this month that I need to figure out how to react to. And then at the end of this month, we've got tons of new games, right? So because of this, I now have to figure out how to balance all of that stuff. And I need to somehow do this PC migration. And it's starting to look less likely. And it sucks because someone had said earlier on this very stream... Maybe hold off on the migration then. Maybe don't do it now. Maybe do it later. And, you know, maybe do it at the end of the year or early next year when things slow down. Because I almost, sadly, I almost feel like it would have been better to do it in July. But in July, I had the Shadow of the Erd Tree DLC. So if that, if the Shadow of the Erd Tree had not been out, I probably would have done it in July. It would have already been done. But I was waiting for it to end. It just ended a week ago. And now when it would have been like perfect time, the marathon hit, and then I got sick. It's like everything all at once, you know? Um, so at this point, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do this migration like I wanted to do. It was going to be next week, but now I don't know if I can do it next week. What if, what if I decide to do the migration, I start to do it. It's going to take two days to set it up. Oh, well, the Review Tech documentary dropped, and now you can't do anything because you're in the middle of migrating all your content over. So you're stuck not working for two days and now you can't do it when it's hot. And now everything gets dropped, right? So at this point, it's, I swear it's like everything is conspiring against me to allow me to do this, this PC migration, but I need to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like the, uh, the fans on this PC are all worn out. Although I keep checking the temperature and it works. The, the, the temperature on the PC is fine. Nothing's overheating, but I just, at this point, I have to do something, all right? I have to do something, and I just don't, my problem is time. My problem is I need, I got everything going on at once. I just, sadly, I just don't have the time to do everything at once, you know? It's like something has to give. If I do the migration, then the react might suffer. If I do the react, then the migration has to wait. And I can't do it later on, because then later on in the month, there's a zillion games coming out, right? So... I don't know, like, I would love to, to sit down and just bring Cat's PC into this room and look at it and really look at the specs and look how well it's built. I haven't even seen the back of this thing. You know, I don't know what ports it has or anything. I know it's a good PC. It's a high-end PC. She spent a lot of money on it. But I just haven't had a chance. I'm too, too busy with everything. And that's just my reality right now. My life is very, very busy, very clustered with stuff going on. It's Let me put it this way. It's better to have too much going on than not enough. I'd, I'd much rather be overworked than stagnated, right? But at the same time, it is getting rough for me to stay on top of everything and juggle everything. It really is. It's becoming a daunting task. So I guess we'll see. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for our Stardew stream. There will be more Stardew streams coming next week where it looks like we got some new fun stuff coming. Can't wait to get our, uh, our barn built. Start doing stuff with the barn animals and all that. But thank you guys so very much. I appreciate you, and I will see you next time.